Hi everyone, it's Mr. Wrong again. Yes, I got my hair cut just a few hours ago. Anyway, uh, this video is kind of part two of the revised Host of My Wall instructions. Okay, so in the first part, I did a walkthrough of doing the Psalm 23 poster and kind of showed you, tried to show you step by step how you would put that together. And it was a pretty simple poster, admittedly, but um, now we're going to extend that a bit more to add a few more extra features. Okay, so if you haven't watched that video, do that one first, try it, make sure it works for you, and then watch this one. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our poster, which should look something like this. Okay, and we're going to add a few more elements. I want to add a few little sheep here and I want to redo this heading um, using a Minecrafty type font. Alright, which um, will be quite fun. Alright, so the first thing we need to do now is um, I'll show you how to put the sheep in first. Okay, so like we did last time, we go to our Google search. Oops, I better show you the screen. And I've put a search term in for Minecraft sheep and uh, image search, obviously, and I've selected the transparent option here. Okay, now not all the results will be transparent, but so far the ones I've selected seem to be pretty good. Okay, the best type of image is the one with no real pictures in the background, all right? nice and plain in the background. That'll make it cleaning it up nice and easy. Okay, so I've, I've downloaded a few of these. Now, just to remind you, you click on one of them, like this one here. Oops, click on it. Then you right-click on the picture on the right-hand side here and select Save Image As. And then it should prompt you to put in a file name. Um, and then you click Save. All right, I've already actually saved this one, so I won't do that. All right, so now that should be... And you might want to um, download a few versions. So I think I've got that one there. I think I did a baby pink sheep. I uh, can't remember which one it was. Anyway, um, you can try a few. All right? It doesn't take long to download a few. All right, then we go back to postermywall.com. And what we do next is we go to photo and add from my photo. Okay, and you can see I've already um, uploaded this one, but I'll, I'll do another one just to show you the process. Okay, so where's my baby pink sheep? Now here it is. Okay, click open and it should automatically add it into my project. Alright, there it is. Okay, so it wasn't transparent. It kind of looked like it was a transparent one, but we should be able to fix this one pretty easily and it's a bit big, so um, anyway, I'll um, just resize it a bit. Okay, now obviously I can't have a like with this kind of checkerboard background. It, it's not going to work in my poster. So if you scroll down on the right a little bit, you'll see that there is a remove color option. Okay, so what you need to do is just click on this little slider here and magic. It's automatically removed that checkered background. If you look very closely, it's kind of removed the eye, the white bit of the eye as well and a any bit that was white is now transparent, so you can kind of see a bit of its head is uh, missing there, but you know, that's not too bad. Um, actually, what I could do, yeah, let me see if I can reduce the tolerance a little bit. Okay, now see what I'm doing? I'm adjusting the tolerance down to 9, and now the eyes, which aren't completely white, they're kind of greyish, are now back and the top of the head is back there as well. Okay, but the most of the background is still is still um, been removed successfully. All right. Now the other problem we have is that the picture was in front of our text. Okay, I don't want that either because it's kind of obscuring the text. All right, or it's kind of getting in the way. All right. So ideally, I'd want to have it on the grass here or something, and I want the text to be in front. Okay. So if you scroll back up now you'll see that there's an option at the top here, a uh, few options, send to back, send to front, copy image, delete. All right, so what you want to do is click on the send to back and see how it pushes the image 
behind the text now. Okay, so that's basically what we want to do. Now I can adjust the size a bit more. After all, it is a baby sheet, so it should probably be smaller. And sometimes if it's behind the text, it's hard to grab. So you have to just kind of position it first, maybe, and then pull the text into its right spot. Okay? So you might want to use a different image, or you might want to make it bigger, or put it in a different position. That's totally up to you. Right? I'm just showing you an example here. Okay? Now, I could put more than one sheet. In fact, why don't we do that? There was another copy image option here. So if you wanted to have two of them, you could click on copy, and you get another one. It puts it almost right on top there, but you can see how I can just move this one over here. And I have to do the same thing. I have to send it to back again. And now I've got two. Maybe this one can be a little bit smaller, right? Let's, you know, do small, smaller baby of the sheet. All right. You can do three. You can do four. All right. Nice and easy. Now, um, all right. Okay. So that's how you add an image. Uh, remove the color and push it to the back so that you can um, customize how your poster looks. All right, now I want to re replace this heading with um, Minecraft font heading. All right, now the site we're using to do this is called textcraft.net, not .com, .net, textcraft.net. All right, and I'll, I'll put a link in the blog if I can remember. Right now, with this site here, what it does is you type in um, the text you want. And, and in fact, sorry, just to quickly go again, there's lots of different types of fonts here. So if you're really into other games, then you know you probably find something of from the game that you like. But I'm just going to stick with the Minecraft fonts, and I just want to show you how what this does is it actually creates a picture of the text, and it's automatically got a transparent background. Okay, so if I wanted to put in um, Psalm 23 here. All right, now it should give you a preview at the top here, but what we have to do is click on one of these options here. And it does this little spinny wheel thing, and then it comes up with the preview. All right, now you can make it large or extra large, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's not bad. Now, if you wanted to change the um, texture that it's using, there's lots of different options here, okay? So maybe a nice green one, because it's, after all, the shepherd's psalm. Now, if I select on the green one here, if I click on the green one, green one here, it won't update the preview at the top here until I click on one of these buttons. And you can click on, even if it's already large, it's already selected, you can click on it again, and it will redraw the, um, the uh, preview. All right, so that one's not bad. Um, you can also change it so it doesn't have that um, 3D style, so that it's kind of straighter. See so at the moment how it's kind of angling off into the distance, like the Star Wars text at the start of the movie. Uh, click large again, and now it should render so that it's um, straight. Okay, and there's lots of other options here as well about um, drop shadows and other things, and lots and lots of other options here. Okay, um, different textures really spend a long time doing this okay so once you're happy with it and I'm pretty happy with that uh, let me just check what it will look like uh, okay maybe green is not the best option so maybe I'll go um, maybe a bluey type water one will be good is that water all right let's have a look let's do extra large uh, yeah okay I'm happy with that all right so now now that we're ready to put it into our picture, what we do here, we click on the download button and we'll open a new tab and it should pretty much automatically download it. See how it's got Psalm23.png at the bottom there? All right, so that means it's downloaded to my computer and I can import it into my poster. All right, so I'm gonna go over here, back to the um, post on my wall. I'm gonna delete that fancy text and I'm going to upload a photo, add from my photos, go upload and I'm going to select the Psalm 23 PNG, click open and there it is there, alright, so it's always in capitals, okay, that's fine. So 
I'm going to just place it approximately in the middle there. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so I don't overwhelm the poster. And there, I'm done. Okay, so, oh, my other sheet. Let's add one more sheet to this mixture here. I've got, oh, it's just over 10 minutes. You won't mind. All right, put a white sheet in here too. Click add photo. Let's make it a bit smaller. And put it here. It'd be good if I could mirror it. Hmm. Not sure if I can. Oh, yeah. Flip. Flip horizontal. That way it's facing that way. Otherwise, we're all facing the same way. And I will then push it to the back. No, back. Yep, like that. Okay, so now I've got three of my little sheep there in the background. Uh, which makes it a little bit more interesting. Maybe a little bit harder to read, but I'm sure we could adjust the text a little bit so that it was um, a bit easier to read. Uh, what else could I do? Um, ah, the shadow. Ah, you can adjust the color of the text by clicking this and selecting maybe a slightly darker color. Oh yeah, see how it's updating all that straight away when I click on these little pictures here? So a bit of a pink tinge might make it a little bit easier to read I can go even darker I don't want to go too dark uh, that's a bit hard to read all right so you might have to have a play around with it close all right okay and again what you should do is um, make sure your name is in the title here because that will get saved onto my classroom um, kind of account and then you click save and it should give you the option to download it. All right, it says it's been saved, and then you click download. All right, and I always choose the free version to download. I don't want to pay anything at this stage. Okay, click download, and it downloads to your computer. All right, and then you might want to print it out and put it in your bathroom, like I said before. Okay, so there's a quick uh, few examples of how you can add other graphic components to your poster. So now it's not just a background and text and a heading. It's now basically, you can have lots and lots of uh, graphical elements in your poster. Maybe don't crowd it too much, but you know what I mean. You can put, you know, from tiny things to big things to anything in between. All right, so it really does open up um, to your own imagination what you can do with those, with those posters. All right, so let me know if you have any questions about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think you should be able to do the rest by yourself now, okay? Anyway, that's all for this video. See you soon. Bye.